check check one two now i almost just want to recap it all and i can just do it all in one thing so operator please verify rpvo1 is closed rpvo1 is confirmed closed thank you disable fuel run take press logic disable verify rb601 is open rb601 is open Day to day, it's, it's just engineers working in software to make things. But if you stick with it long enough and you see the big picture, it's a really dramatic story as these guys try to do something that's nearly impossible. Edwards Media is a production company in Austin, Texas, and we've been hired by Autodesk several times to capture little short stories about engineers who do really great, cool, and challenging things with their software. Firefly was a company that we met in 2016 to do one of those films on their CEO, Tom Markusik. When we got there, to our surprise, they said, hey, just film this. So I'd just like to officially say that we've closed our Series A funding round, and it's a huge milestone for the company. <laughs> And they all toasted champagne, and it seemed like a big day for them. They were all excited, the morale was high, and then it just really took a crazy turn from there. All right, uh, I wanted to give everyone an update on what's going on with our funding situation. We got to cut costs. We are going to have to do some internal layoffs of our full-time employees. Since that, we've kept going back. And we've been making an independent documentary about Firefly ever since. I'm trying to capture this in a way that allows the story to unfold. We're not hearing someone retell us what did happen and how it happened. I'm trying to be there when stuff happens so that it has that verite style. Firefly's goal is to build an affordable rocket, capable to launch small to medium-sized payloads to space. By lowering the cost, they would be increasing access to space. The biggest obstacle to space is the cost of getting to space. To give adequate perspective, I've interviewed people from the space community, space journalists, and even uh, members of the very rural community where Firefly has their test site, so that we're able to hear the ripple effect that this rocket company is having, even in that local community. There's a fun contrast there between the rural community of Briggs and these rocket scientists and engineers if there's local tensions, we'll uh, get to see them play out. I've been filming four years now, and they're just a few months away from their first launch. It's a high stakes, high reward sort of venture. The space race is on with superpowers, billionaires, and Wall Street all in the game. We've seen them go fall into bankruptcy. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not gonna say I. <laughs> We've seen them come out of bankruptcy. The company's been rebooted after furloughing all their employees. They've hired employees back. Uh, this is our whole company. We're all here. This is, this is <laughs> all of us together. They've had new ownership since 2017 that's committed to see them through to the end and continue to invest. We could not have asked for a better partner than Max. He's put over $100 million into this project so far. And I think there's only three other people in the world that have put $100 million into a private rocket company. You got Elon, Bezos, and Branson, and now you have Max Polyakov that has stepped up to the line to make Firefly a success. This next scene will be in the film. It comes after a series of failed tests where their tank kept leaking, preventing the engine from firing, and they're falling way behind schedule. The morale is low, but they were determined to try one more time before they broke for Christmas. Okay, all set. Show some enthusiasm. Christmas is almost here. Annie, you own two cats. Look, is that why you look depressed? Do you want to get home to your cats? All right. Yes, blue lines are met. Proceed. All right, sir. Uh, we start on sequence. Yeah, Copy. Starting on sequence. Five, four, three.
right. Good job. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally. Oh man, that's that's great, everyone. Man, cool. That is so sweet, guys. That's that's the real thing. We can see the finish line, but it's gonna be hard. Launching a rocket to space might be the most challenging thing you can attempt. The liquid oxygen tank is leaking. Put it out two cents right wow, look at that. Yeah, it's just raining. raining. But no matter what, it seems that nothing can keep this team of engineers from moving forward. Woo! They always find a way. <laughs> Woo! So this is flight vehicle, the one that's actually going to go to space. We're prepping for our first launch now. That we're going to get there. That's what we all dream of. We're gonna launch that rocket, and it's gonna be unimaginable. We could have, with Firefly, an incredible comeback story.